Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be talking about my favorite places to go in Austin, Texas. So if you're visiting here anytime soon, I'm gonna be going over my favorite places to eat, hang out at, go out at. We're covering all our bases here. For those that don't know me, my name is Ada. I'm a music festival content creator. I have lived in Austin, Texas now for four years, which is so crazy. And even though part of that was like kind of inside, kind of not, I've still been here for four years. And so I've been able to gather some of my favorite places that I love to go to, whether it's for coffee, eating, going out, whatever it may be. I absolutely love living in this city. It has been one of the best things I've ever done for myself. And so there's a lot of exciting things coming up here in Austin. And we have Blended Festival that is coming. And then we also have Austin City Limits coming. And so if you happen to stumble upon this video or you'll be in town for that, I wanted to just share my favorite places to go to. So that can hopefully give you a little bit of an itinerary and things to do. I always get asked this because so many people are coming to Austin for bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, birthdays, trips, all these things. So I thought I would compile it into a video. I will also link down below a blog post of mine. So if you guys wanna go back and reference it, you definitely can actually access it in the description link. I also follow a lot of Austin accounts. So Austin bloggers, food bloggers, Austin specific accounts. So I'll leave those in the description as well. A lot of the ones I follow are like a taste of Coco. She's really great about food. 512 Bites is my friend Rachel Lately. She's an Austin blogger as well, but she has a food account. And then When What Where Austin is another really good account. ATX Concert Queen is all about music. So there's lots of other Austin accounts to check out that I will link down below for you guys. I will always have great resources sources when it comes to restaurants, events, and things like that. If you do like today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. And without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, I have been here for four years, so don't come for me if some of these are a little basic, but they have become some of my favorites. I know the OG Austin people will probably come for me. However, these are my recommendations based on if you are coming to Austin for the first time or if you've been and you want some new places to check out, maybe you can check out these places. I'm just giving you guys my personal opinion and from my experience. So don't come for me in the comments, please. Please be nice. <laughs> so kicking it off, let's talk about restaurants. So I've broken it down into a couple of different variations. So we got Mexican, pizza, Asian, ice cream, coffee, and brunch. Those are like my essentials if you really think about it. So these are some of my favorite places to go to. So number one in the Mexican category, Tequero Mucho is a really cute and brand new place that popped up during quarantine. It is all pink very Instagram worthy. I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok. I do actually really enjoy the food and the drinks are always really strong. So that's really good. You get a really nice bang for your buck there. And I really enjoy the food there. I've done brunch there and I've done like regular food there. Really cute spot. Love that place. It's owned by Gabriella who owns a lot of the spots here in Austin that all kind of have a similar theme. So she owns Gabriella's, which is really good. She owns Tequero Mucho. She owns Revival Coffee, which is on the east side. That's another place I was going to recommend. She just opened Serena's, which is like a seafood inspired Mexican blend, I think. Has sushi and stuff like that. It's up north. I've been meaning to check that out. So definitely recommend Te Quiero Mucho and anything by Gabriela. She's an amazing like restaurant and entrepreneur here in Austin. So I definitely recommend anything by her. Another favorite of mine is Fresas. That was probably one of my first restaurants I ever went to here in Austin. Really good Mexican food. I always get their bowls. They're really filling chicken's always really good so whether you get like a chicken plate chicken tacos anything like that would be really good my boyfriend and i's favorite restaurant is la posada it's a very hole in the wall traditional mexican like family oriented place it's over here closer to sunset valley where i live one of my favorite restaurants like they're such nice people such great service there so if you find yourself more south definitely recommend that place as for pizza this is a big debate here in austin is which place has the best pizza and my personal opinion home slice. I love home slice. A second favorite would be Southside Flying Pizza. But home slice is really good New York style pizza. That's my dad's favorite type of pizza. My dad loves pizza. And so when I was thinking about where to take him to when he came to visit, I was like, we're going to take him to home slice. And he loved it. He thought it was really great. So definitely recommend home slice if you like more of a thinner type pizza. If you like more of a thick type pizza, then definitely check out Via 313. That is some of my favorite pizza as well. It's to 
Detroit style. The crust, everything is just always so crunchy, so crispy, so, so good. As for the Asian department, ramen, ugh. I had the best bowl of ramen here in Austin and it's at Ramen Tatsuya. I'm from Arizona and my favorite bowl of ramen is at Shady Park. And this bowl is better than Shady Park, which I hate to say. <laughs> but this bowl of ramen will change your life. It's just so, so good. Like it's great for hangovers, great for rainy days, great for any days. Highly recommend Ramen Tatsuya. They have multiple locations throughout Austin. For sushi, one of my favorites, Barchi, has really good reverse happy hour and their rolls are really good, really relatively priced. That one is also placed downtown. So if you're already out and about downtown, it's really easy to go there and then go out from there. We did that a couple of times when I first moved here. Another favorite sushi place of mine is Lucky Robot. This one's a little bit more bougier of a sushi restaurant, but it's a really cute, cool vibe inside. It's right off South Congress, right in the middle of everything in South Congress in the busy part closer to downtown. So you're right in the middle of everything. And so if you want to go to Lucky Robot, grab some dinner and then maybe go shopping or anything like that, you definitely can. I took my boyfriend there for his birthday dinner. We really enjoyed it. I've always loved their sushi rolls there. Really nice quality sushi. <laughs> this one's going to be very basic of me. My favorite ice cream is Amy's ice cream. They also have vegan options, which I really like. There are some vegan places that I've tried before that were really great, but I always like Amy's ice cream. There's multiple locations throughout Austin. The flavors are always really good. I get the vegan Mexican vanilla and I add Oreos to it because Oreos are vegan. So that typically works for me. I'm not vegan anymore but I am dairy free so I typically just stay away from dairy so I really like Amy's ice cream as for coffee I did mention Revival Coffee it's over on the east side it's owned by the same woman who owns Sticketo Mucho and Revival Coffee it's pink inside it's super cute you also probably saw it on TikTok but they do have this really good lavender matcha latte that I got one time so good they also do like fun like little DJ pop-ups and market pop-ups on the weekends if you want to just hang out at a coffee shop have a couple of drinks listen to some house music shop around with some vendors definitely really fun to do that Merit Coffee is also a good one that one has a couple locations around Epic Coffee as well and then Summer Moon Coffee is another favorite of mine they do have a really good chai tea latte i'm not gonna lie their chai tea latte is the best probably in austin but that's just my opinion as for brunch definitely the top place to go to is bangers on rainy street that's where the man mosas are you get these really big beer glasses and it's a man mosa so it's a whole bottle of champagne and orange juice you have to order food with it and if you do go on a sunday definitely recommend getting there early they don't do reservations anymore i went there on my birthday with my family super easy process for us to go and then we were able to just bounce around on rainy street and drink afterwards east side tavern is over on the east side they have really good bottomless mimosa deals i can't remember off the top of my head but my friends and i would go to that a lot their food is also really good like i mentioned to keto mucho does have breakfast brunch menu. I've had their brunch before. I really like their drinks as well. So definitely a good one to check out along with Gabriella's. There are two locations for Gabriella's. There's one closer to downtown and then there's one in South Austin. That one also has really good drinks and brunch. And if you're into drag brunch, there is a place to go to drag brunch on the east side. It's attached to Hotel Vegas. I'm blanking on the name of it, but it's a part of Hotel Vegas. So if you look that up, free to go in, you just buy food and then just tip the people that are performing for drag brunch. Moving on to going out and bars. <laughs> so I don't go out too much. So this is just based on my research from when I do go out. You know what I mean? And this is different from going out to shows. This is like if I go out, which is very far and few between. But when I do, it's because of celebration or people are in town or whatever that may be. I barely go out. I went out a lot when I first moved here, but we're kicking it off. Let's talk about Rainy Street. So Rainy Street, I love Rainy Street because it's like houses converted into bars. It is going to change a little bit here because some skyscrapers are moving in and stuff but one of my favorite places to go is Reina. Really cute little vibe. They always have good music, disco balls, really good drinks. Tipsy Alchemist is a little bit more on the bougie side, but they do have really good cocktails and they have like really fun ones that like are like science experiments. Like they start fogging over. Like it's really cool. So if that could be your vibe, definitely go there. I also love Eisenhower's. We would go to Eisenhower's all the time when I first moved to Austin and they are known for their sangrias that are in a mason jar that they'll get you. you 
you know, they'll sneak up on you, but they're really, really good. And they do have live music on Sundays. I think they're still doing that, which we always really enjoyed that. Container Bar is really iconic. It's really known for being in these containers, like these shipping containers. And it's this whole like establishment just built out of shipping containers, essentially, but it's like open air too. Definitely a good time. I went there for the first time in a while a couple weeks ago and it was packed, <laughs> but it always is really fun. They do have really good drinks and they always have really good music as well. There have been two new bars that I noticed opened over quarantine on Rainy that I've yet to check out. So that will be something to check out eventually. But I really like going to Rainy because it's just the crowd is a lot, a little bit more older, not as much on the young side of things. So it's more casual, I feel like, but it's definitely been changing, I feel like, but do really enjoy it. And then some of my favorite places like Bungalow, I don't know if it'll be there. I heard it's getting torn down for a skyscraper. So definitely check out Rainy though, because I feel like the houses being converted into bars is just something that's a little bit different compared to other cities. Then we have a West Six, which is the opposite of Dirty Six, which if you guys know about Dirty Six, <laughs> that one is definitely for the tourists and the college kids. And it's just not my vibe. So I really can't recommend anywhere to go on there other than if you like live music, go to the Blind Pig. And then if you like shots, go to Buck Shots. But that's really all I can recommend. <laughs> It's not my vibe at all, but if you've never been to Dirty Six, maybe check it out, but also be safe because it's kind of sketchy too. But if you go over to the west side of things, there's West Six, which is a little bit more on the nicer side, I guess you could say. But there's definitely a couple of bars that, you know, a lot of the college kids go to and stuff like Buford's, Greenlight Social, Kung Fu, The Ranch. Like I feel like a lot of the younger crowd goes there. I say this as I'm 26, but it, I definitely can tell the crowd is a lot younger. Two bars that I actually do really like on West six is the cat's pajamas i recently just discovered this bar it's really fun they play house music they play edm like i really enjoy that bar and it's like really neon like miami kind of vibe in there it's really cool and then whiskey tango foxtrot is another place they always have really good djs i like the layout of that bar and drinks are always pretty good and then finally over on west six there is double may care now this is more so on the bougie bougie side of things and like they do sunday brunch with like exclusive of artists like MK and Bob Moses and like you have to get a table in order to see them and like stuff like that but if you do go out you can grab some drinks there Chase and I did on our first date drinks are really good it's like cocktails really nice high-end cocktails really cool vibe in though like really cool intimate vibe I've said vibe a lot in here can you tell that's a part of my brand <laughs> if you're new here I'm sorry but really cool atmosphere very intimate and I've heard the brunches there are really fun so that could be something to check check out if you have the funds to split a table with people it does include like mimosas and food sometimes and all of that too but if you are looking for like a fun date night spot that could be really fun to check out another really cool place to check out is the east side I prefer going out to the east side a lot more now just because I think I'm getting older I kind of just want more of like let's just grab a couple drinks and like sit and be able to talk and like all that kind of stuff so over on the east side I really do like going to Whistler's that's like a really nice cocktail bar they have a really nice outdoor seating so my boyfriend and I have been to that one and then there's also breweries and stuff over on the east side that are nice like Lazarus Brewery, Zilker Brewery those are really good we also go to Austin Eastsiders or Friends and Allies Brewery over on the east side I've heard some good things about Austin Den on the east side I'm blanking on some other east side bars but if you guys have any recommendations definitely comment them down below but I've definitely love Whistler's we go there almost every single time we go to the east side and then there's some other other ones we've been to like Lucky Duck, Latchkey, I think is another one. So those are some that are coming to mind, but I'm hardcore blanking on those. <laughs> And then if you're looking for places to go out where you can just like dance and have a good time, Barbarella's is always really fun. That place is open till 3 a.m. So that's kind of the place where everyone goes to at the end of the night when they're not ready to end the night. But it's always a good time every time I've been in there. Coconut Club is really fun. They always play house music. Neon Grotto is also the same owners as Coconut Club. And Neon Grotto has a similar vibe. They sometimes play house music, but then they sometimes have DJs play other things too. But it's really cool in Neon Grotto, like very Instagram worthy as well. Coconut Club is always fun. Chase and I went there on our first date. I've been to Coconut Club a bunch of times. They have disco balls. It's really fun in there. So if you're looking for just like a night out with some music, definitely check out those two places. Moving on to my favorite venues for shows. So I am particularly interested in EDM shows for those that don't know if you're newer to my channel. I've been wanting to do a separate video on this about 
my favorite venues here in Austin. That'll definitely come soon. My all time favorite venue in Austin is Kingdom. RIP. I think they're coming back though. That venue is just so cool and intimate and feels so underground. It was my first show here in Austin. So I think that's why I have an attachment to it. It closed, I think in 2018 or 2019. And they did post an Instagram story like a couple weeks ago, hinting at something. So I'm like, if Kingdom's coming back, like I'm there, you know what I mean? But other than that, some of the other venues that I do like Vulcan is on Dirty Six, unfortunately, (laughs) but a lot of my favorite artists do play there so I definitely go to Vulcan from time to time I always recommend at Vulcan to bring your earplugs because they do blast the music really loud so definitely protect your ears especially at that venue another favorite of mine is Cedar Street I've seen a lot of artists there real music events used to bring a lot of artists there that were more so in house and techno that one's on 4th Street it's also right across from some of the gay bars that are really fun like rain and yeah Cedar Street always a vibe we saw IO there which was one of the last few shows before he passed away so that venue has a special place in my heart now the concourse is a new venue that has been brought to us by real music events so they are having this new venue out it's out by McKinney Falls area, almost by the airport. So a lot of the house and techno artists are going to be coming out there. They have a whole range of artists that are coming this fall and they are just officially opening that I think in the fall, but they've been doing everything on the outside or next door at Mala Santa. I just posted a vlog at a show that was at Mala Santa. Really cool venue. That venue is also owned by the same owner as Te Quiero Mucho and Gabriela. So Gabriela also owns that venue. Mala Santa is really cool. Really like that vibe. I'm interested to see how the concourse turns turns out a lot of people talk about summit I still have not been to summit but that one is also like open air rooftop kind of place so definitely have it on my list to check that one out and then finally if you're looking for some other things to do or see you can go to Zilker Park or Auditorium Shores if there aren't any festivals or events going on if you want to do like a little picnic or just go for a walk I really do enjoy going to those parks and having those scenic views you can go down South Congress for like some eating viewing the bats or just shopping there's so many new stores down there to explore like there's a new Nike store like South Congress has changed a lot in just the past year but it could be fun to go walk down do some shopping check out some food whatever that may be for you they also typically have some vendor markets from time to time on the weekend so that could also be really nice to check out a lot of people also talk about checking out the bats of Austin (laughs) my poor parents tried to see the bats from their hotel and the bats never came out and people did like bat tours this was back in May and like the bats never came out I personally have never seen the bats and then a lot of things that other people do they do kayaking or paddle boarding on Ladybird Lake so that could be something that you could do or if you want to take a boat out on Lake Travis that is also another option there are some hikes and walks that you can do in Austin I say more so walks because we don't have mountains here but there are some nice nature trails and stuff like that too that you can do. There's McKinney Falls, there's Pace Bend Park, and there's some other ones that come to mind. But definitely lots of things to do when you're in Austin. And that's what I love about this city. Whether you want to eat, drink, go out, do some naturey things, or just hang out, there's a lot of things to do here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Like I said, I'll leave a blog post down below with more info in case you want to explore some of these options a little bit more. I'll also link some of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow when it comes to Austin resources, events, and things like that. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.